here's meteorologist Helen Holt with your Storm Track 3 forecast. Well, it was a warm weekend to start, not so... Yeah, <laughs> it was nice to start off and things went downhill very quickly overnight. Mm -hmm. We started seeing the rain and then the cool air behind it. Today was a completely different day than what we had yesterday. We'll start out with a live view on our Storm Track 3 weather cam over downtown Wilmington. And it's dark already. The sun went down around 520 this evening and temperatures are high for the day was 68 degrees. But don't let that deceive you. That was actually set around midnight and uh, we've been dropping those temperatures throughout the day. We're right around those 50s and we struggled to reach out of the 50s this afternoon. We've picked up a little bit of rainfall, but we're going to be really adding to that total over the next 24 hours. So setting up the weather headlines, we do have a coastal low that's going to bring us some very nasty weather at least through Tuesday. Day. We'll finally see things start to dry up as we get into Wednesday and temperatures near our seasonal averages, but then we'll have another front that's going to come by on Friday and turn us back down into the 60s once again. So our radar and satellite over the last 12 hours, definitely a lot of clouds out there and rain that's just drawing up uh, from the Gulf Coast states. And you're going to see this moisture really all over the southeastern portion of the United States. And this is what we have to go. So definitely going to be a washout for our Monday. So pinpoint future cast will take us through the next 48 hours. Definitely a lot of clouds there through the overnight hours and that rain sticking with us. We've seen generally light rain and we're going to continue to see that through the overnight hours and then once we start out Monday this is where we're going to see those heavier rain bands come into place notice you're seeing those yellows oranges and reds and that's decoding those heavier rainfall totals and that's what we're going to see throughout the entire day I think everyone's going to be really at risk for seeing this rain and Tuesday morning that's when we're going to keep the rain chances in there by the afternoon hours on Tuesday will start to dry up but we're going to keep those clouds around through the majority of the day. I'm going to say mostly cloudy skies. So we do have a flood watch in effect from midnight tonight until 7 a.m. on Tuesday because our grounds are so saturated that we could easily see some localized flooding with all the rain we're expected to get. So this is in effect for all of southeastern North Carolina from midnight until 7 a.m. on Tuesday. So how much rain are we expecting? Now this isn't the gospel, so I'll take these verbatim, but we are going to expect to see between two to four inches of rain rain over the next 48 hours and I'm thinking the closer you live to the coast the higher rain totals you'll see if you live closer to that I-95 corridor I thinking uh, the lesser chance you'll see those higher rain totals so here's our what we're going to expect threat wise we could see some gusty winds with some of those uh, downpours and definitely some localized flooding but as tornado threat and lightning threat they're pretty much going to be zero so as you're heading out to the bus stop, make sure you grab the umbrella and the rain gear. It's going to be a wet morning and a wet commute home with temperatures at least a little bit on the warmer side tomorrow, reaching back up into the middle to upper 60s. We're turning kind of near normal by Tuesday, but then temperatures fall off again next weekend with temperatures in the lower 60s and lows in the 40s. So, you know what? I can handle some rain and some low temperatures if that means sun next weekend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Everybody's kind of like, I just want a full weekend of sunshine. Well, mm -hmm. you're going to get it next weekend. Great. Thank you, Helen. Mm -hmm.